Hey, what is up guys? Josh here. It is currently the next morning of last night. Uh, last night, as you saw, I made a little outboard stand and that thing was super tippy. This one, oh, let me tell you, it is so much easier. I wish I'd thought of this last night. But uh, right now I'm currently drawing a truck. Um, excuse my bolt drawing, but I am basically gonna do a little fun design. My design is I wanna cut two two by fours uh, the same length as the truck bed that I can slide in and out. I'm gonna use the same transom hook on from the last project. Um, and then as well as putting on some wheels on that board so I can slide it in and out of the truck and it's less moving, less pain on my back, which is the main thing. Gotta work smarter, not harder. All right, so this is my my little shopping center wood that I've collected. Um, I want something that's gonna be easy and light. I think our best bet is gonna be taking one of these two by fours. I'm gonna grab the smaller one that's behind everything and we're gonna go measure the length of the truck bed, um, cut everything to size and then go from there. I'll be right back. All right, sweet. So we are back at the chopping block. I want this to be able to slide in all the way back here. Um, obviously I don't want it too thin. Um, probably two little bumps across in the truck bed grooves. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure this. See how long it is total length. So total length of the board is 10 feet exactly. Okay, sweet. That feels way longer than 10 feet. So half of that would be five feet. So the total length of the board was 10 feet and I just cut it at the five foot mark. And basically that's perfect because I'm still able to close the tailgate without the board getting stuck. All right, and sweet, these two pieces are cut off oh, perfect. They fit together. So right now I'm currently taking apart last night's project. Last night's project kind of sort of worked, um, but it was too heavy, it was too bulky and it tipped easily. Um, so I'm saving everything besides the bottom two pieces. I'm gonna reuse the wheels. Uh, my idea, or what I want to happen, is the wheels are gonna go on the two by fours underneath that are five feet each, and they are gonna sit in the tracks or the rivets of my truck bed. So that's gonna allow it to slide in and out, back and forth type thing. So um, I'm also gonna keep the longer flat piece where where the outboard sits so it's nice and solid. All those pieces are glued together so I know they're gonna hold. Other than that, I'm gonna let the video continue to play on and you'll see how it unfolds. Perfect, okay, that is set up. Uh, basically my idea, now obviously I'm gonna have to adjust that to where those screws aren't there. Um, hmm. Oh, that sits way higher than I thought. So basically, these two would be connected, and then I'd have my little mount. And it would just be like that. And then motor would sit on top, and I would just roll it out, set it down, take it off, and put it in. So let's. All right, perfect. So those two guys are set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and try my theory again. All right, so basically have the motor, it slides out like that. Uh, there's little rivets if you can see in the truck bed. So this isn't gonna, I mean, obviously it's gonna roll over, but it's not gonna go over easily. Um, now, when, when I pull the outboard down, I'm gonna want it to go something like this to where it'll just sit right here and I can just lift it up. All right, perfect. So that is done. Um, obviously we're gonna need to get rid of these guys somehow. I'm probably just gonna crimp them off. Uh, but right now I'll just leave them there. This will go like that. And you just push it over the bumps. Roll. Of course, it just has to hit right there. That shouldn't be a problem. So where the truck tire kind of like pops out into the bed, that's what the wood kept rubbing against. So it wasn't a problem. All I had to do was just move it over one track and it works perfectly fine. Just slides in, slides out. Uh, my thing that I wanted it to do is just hit towards the buckets that I have in the back 
and then I'll still be able to have room to close the tailgate. So in this next clip, I'm gonna go ahead and test it out. Test this out. I really wish I could have a handle right here. That would be so much nicer, or at least like right here, you know? is basically what we have going right now and then basically what i want to do is just just slide it in let's go ahead oh, hold the fudge yeah see the motor's turning already the motor was fine going in i just forgot to turn that little clamp that makes the motor not move Perfect, so like I said, it's right there. And just slide it all the way in. Perfect. Oh man, that is so much easier. Because once it gets on its side, it just becomes extremely heavy. So there we go. Uh, that is my little idea. Um, but for the most part, that works. And then transporting it to and from places will be easy. Obviously, I'm gonna probably clamp it down so it doesn't flop around or just tie it down with straps. Now, let's go ahead and try to put it back on. Yeah, so right here, I wouldn't mind getting a handle. That would be pretty sick. Oh, so heavy. Roll it out. Drop her down like this. And then we'll have it slowly slide down. And then bam, presto, just like that. Not too bad, not too bad. Well, that was fairly easy to do. Um, then it just rolls right in the back. And I can close the tailgate and it all closes nicely. Obviously this is gonna be a lot heavier than that, but I think because the weight is more evened out, it's easier to move for me. So. I like it. It's way less strain on my back and it's going to be easy to go from point A to point B. That works. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some handles for here. Um, I'm debating if I want to do a PVC handle with a little bit of rope um, or just get like a little cabinet handle. And then for the front, I got to trim the screws. But other than that, she is good to go. All right. Perfect. Problem solved. No more back pain for the most part. Um, I like this idea 110 times better than <laughs> the previous one. Motor project was a success. Yes, it's a little heavy. I'm getting better at my muscles. So I'm pretty stoked. Thank you for watching and I'll see you out in the water.